Hey, what's up fellow van dwellers? So today, because I got some requests, I'm gonna show you how the Murphy bed works. And this time, I got some light. So we can shine some light on that subject. That was really cheesy, I know. All right, guys, so here's the bare bones. I pulled off all the mattress. So basically, it's just on a hinge system. What I did is built a thin box that's just only like... Let's turn some light on the subject here. So here's the wheel well, you can see. So I just went to the side of the wheel well here. Ugh, with this crappy plywood. That's the back. So that's the back piece, that's a full back piece and the middle's cut out to go the length of the wheel well. And then there's another, probably like foot, I guess, length for the back side. Then there's a small like three inch to four inch piece on both sides. And then the same for the front side. I just have the Murphy bed held open right now by one of my removing shelves that is just kind of sitting in the slots that I have for it and turned sideways and it actually is holding the Murphy bed up and I'll show you how that comes down once I move this. So you see it just swivels down with this center piece, which has hinges on it. Pretty simple. It's probably, what, three feet by, looks like three and a half feet. And then the full four feet of, uh, what, a sheet of half inch or three quarter uh, plywood is. This is just old crappy plywood that I got from a friend. So if you have somebody who can get you some plywood, take advantage of it. Um, so here's the top of the box that I was talking about that I built. Here's the back, here's the front, here's the corner. Okay. Like that. You can see the... It's going around the wheel well in the back, but it still has footing on the bottom to hold it for uh, the weight. Same with the other side, supported on top of the wheel, wheel well. And I use some heavy duty hinges in the back. Kind of a booger to get these back screws in, but you can do it. Looks like I need to tighten up some of these screws because it's sticking up a little bit now from all the wear and tear, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so I got that all tightened up. So one cool thing about doing it this way and giving yourself some space in between is you can utilize this space now as storage. And that's exactly what I do. I hold like four blankets. You can see this whole front seat covered in blankets and material. All this gets stuffed in there, believe it or not. And then there's more room in the front that I made that I'll show you too as well. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do right now is just show you that I could stick whole blankets in just that little crevice by just using a little bit of, you know, force, really. So grab a blanket. Let's see, more, more winter blankets because it's starting to get warm again. And I don't need these right now, so grab these, stick them up here. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so forgive me. And get some light over here. You just take it, fill this crevice. Not gotta fold it or nothing. No one's gonna see it because your mattress is going on top of the whole thing. So it's kind of like a little space for you that only you know about. You could also, if you guess, if you have a rifle or something and you were. Want to put a rifle or a gun back there? I guess you can do that too, or anything really. Doesn't have to be that. I don't have one. 
<clears throat> I spent enough time in the army, I don't really care for one, but maybe one day. Anyway, never know if shit's gonna hit the fan. You just tuck your blankets all up into this hole. There, there's two blankets. One, two, and I still got room, looks like. Pretty good room for another one there. Just like that. So that whole back side is full of blankets. All right, so now with the blankets tucked away, I still have my shelving over here. And if you notice, let me grab the light again. On the side here, because I built the cubbies and left enough room here from the bed to that, there's still a deep hole here, but it's not actually just the deep hole. It actually runs all the way along front side of it. So you have a box in a box, kind of. I'll show you here once I lift the bed back up. This, you can see the underneath side, it's just hinged like that. The two or three pretty durable hinges. And so when the bed comes down, it just scissors down. And the mattress sits on top and gets folded with it when it goes back up, just like that. That's how it sits with the mattress in. You have to hold it in while you lift the door and keep it in, and then the latches hold it in that I have on the side. But it's pretty simple engineering, and anybody can have it with just a little bit of thinking. There we go, with it open now. I'll go ahead and open my shelf so I can stay open. So now I got that propped up because I turned my shelf sideways. And it's just holding it from falling in. You could, I guess you could also use like a little strap or something, but since the mattress is usually on it, I just don't, I don't know. I guess I should try to make a little arm that I could stick in the corner to keep the mattress from folding out when I open the door. That way I don't gotta hold it. I'm gonna clean out my closet, get rid of all my clothes I don't wear. Anyway, here's the front side. You can see the cubby in between the front side and the main outside. So there's the main outside, and then here's the other cubby. So you got the blankets back in here, along, you can see them sticking, kind of peeking through. And then the front side, you have at least a good foot, and probably, I'd say, two feet down. And what I do here, is put on my pillows, any other storage things that I need, like my space heater buddy, my Coleman uh, propane heater for the winter. Put that sucker in there. Another pillow. Another pillow. <laughs> You can see, you can actually stuff these down if you want. These are memory foam, so they'll pop back up. There's still tons of room, and their bed can lay across. Like, I got tons of room I don't know what to do with yet, so. I guess I could put my winter uh, clothes in there. That way I don't gotta get rid of them, and I have more room in my closet. I think I might do that. And that's the front of the bed, and how that whole mechanism works. And then, with like that, you can see the door down. I take the door, and this was from an old uh, water system job. <laughs> and this has still got like their vinyl picture on the outside that my friend worked for. And basically, he just had it laying around his garage. And so I use this piece, and this happens to be the door. Little conversation piece. Lift the door, lock the latch. Go the other side, pick up my pillows, lock the other latch. All right, and then you have the front door to the Murphy bed.
So as I mentioned in my Van Tour video, uh, you can see the actual foam from the original bench seat that was in here. You can see the back metal that was on it. Just a crappy old foam pad. Front or the back side there, and then the seat side right here. Okay, now that that other one's on, and it's just thrown on there, I grab my blanket, and I wrap my whole outer blanket around it, and that acts as my sheet blanket, which is this one. So I'm gonna do that right now. So now the two foam pads are wrapped in my blanket, which acts as my sheet. Grab my pillow, pretty much make my bed, just like anybody else. Main blanket on. I don't really make it anyway because it gets messed up anyway. I just put it away like that, so when it comes down, I'm ready to get a jump in bed. Yeah, so if you haven't seen my other videos, I have a full video uh, that shows me customizing the van from gutting it to doing all this process. I'm not talking, it's just with music and a slideshow, because all I did was take pictures. So unfortunately, sorry for that. But uh, I'm trying to make up for it by doing these videos. That way you guys can get a feel and ideas of what you can do in your van because I know that it's hard out here for a lot of people um, where middle class really doesn't exist anymore. And we're trying to find ways to save money. And this last year, from last May to this May, well, will be this May in the next month, um, because I've done this um, I have been able to put away twenty three thousand dollars so I mean to a lot of people that could be a ton of money and you might go oh my god twenty three thousand dollars I have a full-time job I only make sixteen dollars an hour I only make a thousand ninety five dollars every two weeks um, I say only humbly because I mean like every company, they really bust my ass and I have to work three machines a night at a CNC job for $16 an hour. It's kind of bullshit, but you got to do what you got to do. Every company's pushing people to do two jobs, two people's jobs for one person's pay, so it's bullshit. And hence why we're trying to save money and we're being forced to have a whole new trend in society of having these tiny homes and van dwelling in small spaces because <laughs> how else can people do it i couldn't afford college i grew up poor we were um always going to the food bank i was eating like hard stale donuts <laughs> from before school <laughs> and you know i didn't have the best friends in school so i ended up doing smoking pot and being retarded and not caring and you know hindsight's 2020 if i can go back to school now and have the money I know I'm smart enough where I can get a mechanical engineering degree. I spent it yesterday at uh, Cal Berkeley, and I was like, man, if I could just go back and use what I knew now, you know, I'm like watching, looking at all the mech engineering um, open house things and looking at uh, all the solar power car, you know, the robots that they're building, and I was like, cool. <laughs> it's totally easy, cool, like I get it. I have ideas, but I had no money, so that's kind of how it goes, I guess. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'm going to come back to you with another video here. And I'm going to show you how I actually installed the stove to the door. If you don't remember and you didn't see my other video, this door opens with the stove and you can tailgate from outside which is pretty cool. 
and it's a beautiful day today here in California. So, I think I'll enjoy it. So I actually just cleaned out my closet. I don't have the light in here anymore, but you can see it's pretty much just the width of, you know, a hanger and some clothes on it. And it's probably about two feet out. And I brought it up high enough off the ground. Here's the dowel, um, which is just screwed into actually this, but inside on a bracket. And then this one has got its own here. And then I support it with all these screws because it kept falling off when I was driving long distance. So I said, fuck it, I'll just surround it with screws. <laughs> so, I was just being a lazy handyman at the time. And um, so I brought it high enough off the ground so I could have two long drawers. And the drawers go from the front all the way to the back. And you can see here, I have my clothes in those. And they're, they go all the way back. And they're pretty long. No track, there's a single track. There you go. It's the track I did here. Pretty, pretty uh, basic. Just a single track there and on the bottom, a little rail slide here. So it just kind of shimmies along it. That's it. Then the clothes are right there. That's the closet. It's clean now, I'm happy. Everything's put back together, bed's made. I'm gonna go take a run at the beach.